Welcome back to SmartBin.com. We have an employee scheduling template here today. Um, I actually built it with my wife. She's been in retail for like six years. She has to do scheduling. So she was talking about the one day. And I'm like, eh, you know what? I think we can build a nice template for scheduling. That's pretty universal. Anybody, any business company can use it that has basically employees that, you know, you need to schedule every week. Um, some nice summaries we'll have are um, on the schedule. Once it's populated, you obviously build it uh, before the week happens. You could just hit File, um, Download As, and do a PDF. You turn it into a PDF. You go to Export, and then you can print it off like that. So it'll be a nice PDF. You could save it as you know week whatever schedule, and then you could go and make the next week or whatever you want to do. So it's going to be one week at a time. The inputs are super simple to use. It's going to give you some nice summaries. It's going to show you coverage by day and how many people are covered based on the scheduling. It's also going to show you a schedule check to show if you have scheduled anybody during a slot that they have said they were not available um, to be scheduled at. Um, so here's the main inputs. Um, first is availability. Uh, so I've just made drop downs here that's targeting the list on the summary. And this list is gonna start at a certain um, hour of the day and go down um, for, right now we've got it for about uh, 16 hours, 15 hours. So if, let's say we started at, uh, you know, your workday started at 1 a.m. All you would do to change is put a one in here. And you see it'll update. So now it'll say 1 a.m. to 1.30, 1.30 to 2. So it's showing you each half an hour time slot. Um, and you can see it all it goes all the way up to 5.30. But normally, I mean, the earliest people, most people probably start to end is probably 5 a.m. So if you're going to do that, it would go all the way to 9.30 p.m. So this is just giving you the whole day by half an hour increments, and it's showing you each day of the week. and um, we'll get to how this is colored in a second, but you can the next input after you figure out your start hour, how you want the schedule to show uh, for your coverage, you pick the day of the week. So obviously, whatever your start date is, it could be a Sunday. Um, if it's a Monday, you know we could change this to let's say the 18th. You see all that updated automatically. The schedule updated automatically Monday to Sunday now instead of Sunday to Saturday. Uh, same here. And same with the schedule check. So let's put it back to Sunday. And you see now everything's back to Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. So it's all automated. Um, so here's your main view to show you, okay, um, I know the store is open from this time to this time, and so how many people do I have during each time of the day, every day? And it'll be red if you don't have anybody. Uh, so let's figure out how this is actually working. So what it's doing is it's checking if in your scheduled hours how many people you have that are going to be available in a half given half an hour slot. So here we can see this person, employee one, You'll put your employee names down here, and you can put if they're part time or full time. So we say employee one's open from they're of they're scheduled for 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. And we see availability up. Oh, they're actually saying they're not available till 8 a.m. So there should be a red here, which there is. So 8 a.m. So I know okay, I got to change this to let's just say 9 a.m. And you don't have to do the drop downs if you wanted to just do 9 a.m. You could put in nine. Um, space and then am like that and it'll work just fine so you don't have to necessarily use the drop down or if you wanted pm you know you could do let's say five space pm or you type in five here and the drop down will show you only things with five and then you could pick pick that so now it's 9 a.m to five you see that's within the range so schedule check is good um, and this will get difficult if you're trying to do like five or ten people at one time. All right, so, and this is 
got a little couple of validation errors here, and that's fine. That's just because I changed the hour start of the day. Let's put it back to where it was at 7. And then, yeah, there they go. That's, that's fine. Um, and that's all fine. Okay, so we can see here, you, you basically have to put this in only one time, and then you only have to change this if somebody says, hey, you know, going forward, I'm not going to be available on Tuesdays from whenever to whenever. You just change their availability um, right here. And so that's nice, simple, user-friendly. Um, so you can see their availability. You're going to make your schedule here. So we've just done um, five employees, and we're giving um, each one, you know, two days off. A week this one's actually got three days off um, one day off for this guy oh. <laughs> so this is really useful for anybody that's trying to do schedules also we've got dynamic hours so this is going to sum up the total hours you're using each day this is going to sum up the total hours each week for each employee and this is going to show you the total weekly hours versus the budget. And this will give you a variance right up here. So if my budget was, say, only 130. It goes red and it says, oh, you're 10 hours over. So you got to fix fix it to make it work. 145, oh, I've got five hours of space. So either add five more hours somewhere or leave it. And this does account for, for this hourly total will account for breaks. So we can put the logic for anybody that has is scheduled for six hours or more you can put in an amount here for their break so let's say if you're scheduled for at least six hours you're going to subtract 0.5 hours from their total time because that won't be billed uh, as uh you know for lunch or break so if we put that to 0.5 you can see first let's look at the number without it you can see it's 140 hours you change this to 0.5 you know, I've got 132.5 because you've got a lot of people working over six hours. And so this is subtracting the breakout automatically. Um, if you don't want to deal with that, you can just zero this out and that's fine. Um, so, so now you, you kind of see how we're, we're doing things here. We've got the schedule check, availability, you make your schedule. It's really easy to expand if you want to add more employees. You just drag this down. Um, you could drag the drop downs down. Um, the availability it's already dropped down quite a bit, but you can, as you can see, it's not hard to expand this. Um, schedule check, same thing. You can do this, is all formulas already down for a bit. Um, and hours matrix, this is tracking. This is how we're actually counting the hours here per day for employee. Um, so yeah, it's really nice. Uh, I think this is a useful wide, wide use case here. Um, pretty much anybody that's trying to manage their uh, schedule and keep track of people and what they can do, I think this would be really helpful. Um, I'm gonna leave it. So uh, if you wanna buy this template, it's only a one-time fee of $45. I'm going to leave it like this. So when you go to buy it, I'll send you, well, the, you'll be sent to the download page. And it will be this Google Sheet, but it'll be view only. So when you go to actually use it with your own data, you just go to file um, and hit make a copy. And it'll make uh, your own copy for you. And then that'll be on your own Google Drive. You'll have to have a Google account to do that, which is free. Um, and then you can just you know put in your own data and all the light shaded cells, enter your employee names, and then start building your schedule for the week. Um, and that's pretty much it. The only other thing I wanted to say is I did, um, this, so this is in Google Sheets. I also downloaded it for you, and this will be also available, um, is the Excel version. And so it works the same exact way. Um, I just had to clean up a little bit of the logic for Excel, but it still works um, the same exact way same coloring, uh, you've got your same matrix, uh, same checker here, it works um, just like what I just showed you in uh, Google Sheets. So both of them are available, um, real simple to use, I think this is really useful. Uh, 
this coverage is super useful, especially because you can see how many people you have covering every time frame for the day. Um, but also what my wife really liked was when um, I showed her the schedule checker where you can actually see if, if you scheduled people in times where they said they were not available. Um, all right. Well, that's it. I uh, hope you guys have a good one. I'm also going to post this to my main channels on Eloquence and eFinancials. So have a good one and I'll see you on the next one.